When you say artificial intelligence, the first thing that comes to mind for me is human collaboration. And that's because all the AI technologies that we have today are the result of teams of people, teams of people who conceive them, who develop them, who build them together and do amazing things. AI is expanding cultural production. Some artists work with paintbrushes, some artists work with guitars, some artists now work with algorithms, and that's giving us a whole new view on human creativity, on computer creativity, uh, and a whole new set of art. So AI art is the output of an algorithm that's been trained on existing art and then run through a machine learning type process that generates some data about that art and gives us something totally new. Could be a piece of music, could be a painting, could be a piece of poetry, um, but it's the product of this algorithm and what it's learned about this existing material. So I think UNESCO could be involved by being a, a convener, um, by bringing attention to uh, the tremendous cultural production that's already happening. I mean, some of this work, when I look at it, it like takes my breath away. Some of the most beautiful art that I've seen all year has been art that was produced um, with AI involved. AI art contributes to cultural diversity because it's involving people in the art production process who never have been involved before. Not only now do we have artists, but we have coders, people who have hard technical skills that they're bringing to bear on new cultural production.